is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So it is Pride Month and I have done Pride Month looks for my channel the last couple of years and so I wanted to do another one this year. Instead of doing my traditional like rainbow creative looks, I actually wanted to try my hand at drag makeup. Let me tell you, these drag queens have such gorgeous makeup and it just always looks so flawless and I've never done it before so we are going to see how this goes. Please keep in mind that this is not a tutorial, this is me doing my best at attempting this technique and you are probably going to laugh at me and that is okay. So yeah, let's get started. So first I am just going to try to glue my brows down. I have very thick brows and I've only attempted this once before and it didn't turn out that well. So if I can make it past this part, I might be able to do the rest of it. The first time I tried this, I was so convinced that all the glue was just gonna like rip out all of my eyebrow hairs and I was just terrified, but this stuff washes out so easily. I think last time I attempted this, I was not patient enough in like waiting for the layers to dry, so I'm gonna take my time to do like three or four layers with adequate time. <laughs> Okay, I think I have three layers of glue on. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna like keep going at it because I don't want it to be like too thick or make it worse or something. It's already looking a little bit better than the very first time I tried it. Okay, I am going to try setting it with a beauty blender that's not, uh, not wet because I think the water from the beauty blender can sometimes move the glue underneath. So I've got some orange blush here. This is a cream formula. And I am taking a brush and trying to put this on my eyebrows so that the orange kind of cancels out my dark eyebrows. All right, and then I got some concealer I'm going to use to attempt to cover over that. Then we're just gonna set it again. I really hope it works this time. All right, so we are going to just go in with foundation and hope that this is going to turn out on the top there by my eyebrows. So next I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. And I'm going to attempt to draw brows on. So as you know, my brows are quite full. So I'm actually very terrible at drawing brows. I don't do a whole lot with mine because I don't have to. And so I am absolutely terrified of this coming out super uneven and terrible looking, but we're gonna try it. It is like literally in this moment that I realize how uneven my actual brows are because it's just, oh my gosh. What if this turns out to be terrible? Okay, I don't think they're awful, but I don't know. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit with some concealer on the top and bottom. So for eyeshadow, I am going to be using the Color Drain Vivid Pigments Palette. This is my favorite matte palette. It's got a lot of colors to work with, which I think I'm going to need here. And I am basically going to try an eyeshadow look where it's like slanted up a little bit more aggressively than I normally would. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the color all the way up to my fake eyebrows so that it covers up like my original brows. I don't know if this is like the correct eye shape. I think I'm going to find out when I try to cut this crease. I don't know how it's looking on camera, but I feel like I can definitely still see my natural brows a little bit, but it's a little bit covered up by the eyeshadow. This was a lot of eyeshadow. Next I'm going to be using this P. Louise base. This is the white, so it's the color zero. And I'm just going to attempt to cut my crease. We will see how it goes. Wouldn't it be so crazy if humans actually had this much lid space? I'm also going to bring the white down a little bit and like color in this little triangle part. I'm 
You guys, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just attempting to blend that out a little bit because it's like way too harsh. All right, we're gonna run with this for now and just see how it goes. I feel like the shape of this eyeshadow is just so weird. It's just so hard to work with because I don't know where my wing is gonna be yet. I'm gonna go back in with that purple and just like blend in a little bit more of this cut crease because it is like super aggressive. I feel like I do want to put some glitter on, but I just don't know where to put it because I don't know where my eyeliner is going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyeliner first. Okay, so I feel like once eyeliner, once I start the eyeliner, there, it's like the point of no return. And this is absolutely terrifying. So I'm going to try not to talk while I'm actually drawing my eyeliner, but I am going to basically draw a dramatic wing. It's going to be like super thick and it's just going to go upwards. I don't know how drag queens are not like running out of eyeliner. They must use like a new one every day. Okay, so I actually don't hate it. Um, I'm very nervous about the inner corner because I am not good at inner corner eyeliner, but here we go. Okay, now I have to do lower liner. This is so stressful. Oh. So the way I see most people do them is that they will follow the slant of the eye and that's why I put some white on the bottom too is so that like I can fake that that's like some more eyeball I guess. How's that? Does that make my eyes look a little bit bigger? This is so hard. I'm taking the purple that I was using earlier on the top and I'm just going to kind of smoke out the bottom here. Okay, so next I have this silver eyeshadow from ColourPop and I'm going to be using a brush to just pack that onto my cut crease. I would have done this before the eyeliner in a normal look, but because I didn't know where my eyeliner was going to be, I <laughs> am going to do it backwards. So a quick time check, just so you know, it has taken me two hours to get to this point and I'm hoping the rest of this is going to be pretty quick. So I have a white eyeliner and a black eyeliner and I'm going to line the bottoms of my eyes, the inner half here with white and then the outer half with black. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pop in some colored contacts and then find like the most dramatic lashes I can find in my collection and glue those to my top eye line. I feel like you cannot even tell that I have eyelashes on because my eyes, like my eyeliner is so big. I'm wondering if it's worth like putting on a second pair like right on top of it. I don't have any glue on this lash. I'm just like trying it out. Okay, I'm actually going to attempt to layer on a second pair of lashes right above where I have my first one. Oh, the glue's not tacky enough. I'm unsure if I should have done that. Like, should I have glued the two eyelashes together and then popped it on my eye? Or is this the right way? I don't know. But I actually like how that looks a little bit better. It just makes it look so much more exaggerated. I'm struggling a little bit on this eye because this eye is much more hooded than the other one. And this second lash is like so far up that it's pushing on my like natural hold and crease. I think it worked. Okay, so I also found these like little individual lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick some on my lower lash line so it looks like I have eyelashes there. Okay, so because I am very extra, I'm gonna go ahead and take some eyelash glue and some pearls and glue these to the sides of my wings, um, just slanting up along the wing line because why not? It's looking a little empty there. I think what I'm going to do too is add like three in the middle of my eyes here. That way it kind of like balances out that look.
Why didn't I do this before I put my lashes on? This is so hard with lashes on. We are almost at three hours. We're at two hours and 45 minutes. Let me start on the rest of my face. Okay, so next for contouring, I'm going to be using a combination of the Makeup Geek bronzer and the Butter bronzer because these are two different shades and I feel like I can get a more like um, aggressive contour with this. And I wanna make sure that I do my cheeks but also my nose. This is certainly darker than I normally would do it, so I think it helps my cheekbones stand out a little bit more. I'm trying to like bring this all the way up to like my fake eyebrows. And I know it looks a little bit too dark right now, but I'm gonna blend it out here. So to help define that line a little bit, I'm just taking some setting powder and just running it up and down my face like that for blush i'm gonna go ahead and use this lorac technicolor blush this is a pretty pigmented pink which i think will go really well with the eye look although it's just a little bit i feel like a warmer pink and for highlight i'm gonna go ahead and use this wet n wild mega glow highlighter this is in the shade Precious Petals, and I absolutely love Wet n Wild highlighters. So finally for my lips, I'm going to try to overline it just a little bit here with my lip liner before going in with pink lipstick. I actually have not tried the shade of pink lipstick before, so I'm, actually, I'm hoping it's not too light. Okay, you guys, so I think that is it for my attempt at drag makeup today. I'm actually excited about how it turned out i actually love it i know it's not as good as like my local fabulous drag queens at the local mimosa brunch because mm, they're just so beautiful but for my first attempt i think i did okay i think if i were to do this again i would maybe do my eyebrows just a little bit darker because i feel like it is getting lost a little bit in the midst of all the craziness but this took me over three hours so three hours and 15 minutes and i don't know how these queens do it every week and to close, you know, I just want to say to really be cognizant of pronouns that people prefer and really just try to use them because it's like calling people by the wrong name. You don't want to do that. And a lot of times when you're introducing yourself, just by offering your own pronouns, it tells other people that, hey, you're very accepting of whatever pronouns they would like to go with. Even though, even if they don't use the same pronouns as one would assume, then they might feel safe telling you. So happy Pride Month, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial attempt thing. I hope to see you next time. Bye!